is one of the largest lakes in North Texas, spanning 22,000 acres, a favorite destination for fishing and boating, born from a great thirst for water. And many consider its addition in Rockwall County a big moment for the growth of the city of Dallas. Never had to have the water. Jerry Wimpy witnessed the birth of Lake Ray Hubbard. But it was courageous for him to do, and it was, they were committed to it for a long time. These lakes take a long time to build. In the years before the lake, this area was simply called the bottom, a place to farm, look for firewood, or go fishing. The east fork of the Trinity River flowed down here, but that was before the great drought of the 50s. At White Rock Lake, for example, you could drive a tractor right across it on dry land, right through the middle of the lake. That's how much it had gone down. Dallas's mayor, R.L. Thornton, had a plan. Lake Tawakini in East Texas was already in the works. But with a growing population and a desire to be a big city, plans were set in place to build another lake for the city of Dallas, closer to home in Rockwall County. Their plan, out of that common cause, wasn't challenged by the voters or anybody because everyone knew we were thirsty a little bit. There's history of desperation to find water in Dallas. The council hired a rainmaker, the famous weatherman by the name of Irvin Crick, to make artificial rain. To try anything desperate to get water, it's how it was. Jerry went on to work with the city parks department and worked through the building of Lake Ray Hubbard. But I had to walk around the whole 108 miles of the lake and find each property marker, check them off. Finally, in 1968, Dallas built the dam, the Lord provided the water. The water filled the dam, bearing construction equipment and anything else in its path, including one unlucky resident. The last time I saw it, there was a squirrel on top, and he was kind of going from side to side. Well, I'm sure he tried to jump off before and couldn't get very far because it was a long swim. The building of the lake, he believes, helped grow Dallas to become what it is today. The decision to build Lake Ray Hubbard is the thing that kept city, uh, kept Dallas. Uh, propelling, progressing forward and continues to. So, and, and that's what it'll be maybe, you know, sometime in the future, other people are going to have to recognize what those critical needs are and address them before, and that'll be harder. Decades later, it continues to be a water supply for Dallas. Originally, city engineers wanted to take down all the trees from the lake bed, but many trees were left behind to the delight of visitors, and it remains a favorite fishing spot, a favorite boating spot today. One thing I learned, making it rain a real job. Yeah, and not this kind of rain, not but the good kind of rain. Kind of rain. And, I, and, and many would argue here that anything that makes fishing a little bit better is good by them. Agreed.